really big thing you have to realize about um, uh, horses, I guess, and most running animals is that they are different than, um, let's go back to, let's just go to this one right here. They are different than you and me and rodents. <laughs> so primates and rodents have kept our uh, clavicle. We have a, um, a bone which goes from your shoulder to the top of your sternum, your clavicle right there. And uh, it's the only place that your arm attaches to the rest of your skeleton by a bone. Your shoulder blade isn't attached to the rest of your skeleton, it just floats on the back there and you can move it around. And, you know, it just, it's not attached by a joint, it's attached by muscles and tendons to the rest of you. But in these quadrupeds that run very fast, they've lost this. They've lost their uh, clavicles right here. Um, you can find like a tiny little splinter of one in a cat, and it's mostly tendons, and there's a tiny little bit of bony stuff in the middle. You know, like when you cut a chicken up and you see that, that cartilage <laughs> in the middle. Um, they still have that, but it's, it's not really attached to the rest of them. So, that means that this whole limb is not attached to the rest of the skeleton, which gives it a great freedom of movement to swing back and forth like that. So we're odd. Our shoulder blades kind of like sit on the back of our skeleton and our rib cage is very compressed front to back. Most animals, their rib cage is deep and narrow from side to side and their shoulder blades are more wrapped around to the side like that and they swing like this. It's the same muscles but they're like, uh, like that. So it gives, uh, there's a lot of freedom to move up and down. You see how much freedom it has in a cat, where they're, when they walk and their, their shoulder blades stick way up above their spine. When they walk, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, that's like a main difference between us 